Welcome back to Young Power on Power 106 FM. I'm Arroyo Eubanks and Jesse Blake is creeping in right now. And we are continuing our focus on, of course, the biggest news of 2013. We are deeming it that, of course. And it is, of course, Tessan's victory on The Voice. She is The Voice. And online now, the man who trumped it all. Tessan said his reaction to the win trumped hers by That's far. Right. Yep. And you see, you saw it. Mm -hmm. You saw it on Tuesday night. Michael Cuff Jr. Good morning, Michael. Welcome back to Young Power. Trust me, I know. That it was, I was an unbelievable moment where you paused and then yeah. you... You let go. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm not sure, I'm not sure why we're hearing that. Um, Michael, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Morning, Hi. morning. I'm not sure morning, why we're hearing that. <laughs> but, but that, that. Are we live on air right we now? Are, we are live. No, no, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> don't, don't worry, don't worry. Um, we, nothing, nothing unto what came out. Only good vibes. Um, you know uh, what? Course, I want, I want uh, Christine Weston, um, you are Tessan's mom. Just repeat your thought on, on, on Michael's reaction. I, we started hearing it, <laughs> but just tell me. Tell us now. Me, me want to tell you now. Yeah, me man, tell me, me now. Me said, me said, the man nearly dragged me down. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> man. Me an old lady, you know. We can't take them you things. Know. The, the part, the she sounds so much like Tissan. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, you sound so much like Tissan. It was, it was, when, right before the announcement, where they had a commercial. Yeah, man. She, she, she grabbed my arm and she said to me, all right, Michael, if anything, you hold me up. <laughs> so I said, I said, right. I said, don't worry, mom, you know, I, I have you, I have you. Then when the name called, my legs give out and me fall right on top of her. Oh, my gosh. No, no, I, I, we, we don't blame you. I, it's a momentous <laughs> announcement. Believe you me, what an occasion. I mean, yeah, you both, that's right, you both have seen the journey. And guess what? The journey didn't start on the voice itself. You Thank got, you. Th yeah, that's <laughs> right. It didn't start there. And we want, I mean, yeah. you know what, My Michael, the, the, don't, don't, don't hit me for this, but I want to start with Christine. When <laughs> that, that moment when you saw Tessan being announced as the winner, what was the first thought that came to your mind? Lord God, Michael, please don't crush me. That, apart from that. <laughs> <laughs> apart from that. Because, yeah. because the way he... <laughs> oh, my God. Seriously, seriously. Yeah, man. I, I, I don't even know. I really don't know because, you know, deep down, mm -hmm. you want them to call her, but you're not so sure. I have never been sure like everybody else because this is my little girl and I don't want her to be disappointed. Mm -hmm. So, so you know, I kind of kept it inside of me that, Okay, if she don't, you know, I'll be there for the same way because that's what we do. Mm -hmm. So when they did call her name, I I was just, I, I, I don't know. I just didn't think. I just felt good. That's can, all I remember. Can, can I tell you, and I know, I know, Michael will get your reaction in a second, but you know what I'm thinking? I, I'm just thinking of our little movie right now. A, a, a yeah. flashback. I mean, the, all the formative years. Um, of, te of of the artist that we know right now, the person that we know right now, culminating in that announcement. Yes. Wow. Yes. Talk to yes. us, uh, Christine. Just just tell me a, a bit about Tessan's upbringing. What was she <laughs> like coming up? <laughs> mm -hmm. Tessie, mm -hmm. you have to go pay me. Oh, don't no, no, no <laughs> worry, me and the listeners will chomp up, but <laughs> just let us know what about that. You know, Tessie was the sweetest little thing and full of fire when she growing up. Yes. Full of fire. You know, um, Tammy was the, the lady and, you know, the quiet one. And Tessie was just, just, mm. you, I, I can't even describe it. Wow. She was just out there all the while. Out there with our feelings, out there with our saying what she wants and all that. And over the years, I just saw her become, you know, more reserved. Mm hmm more more shy but as a little girl she she wasn't she was really out there said what she want and then they changed places like Tammy became the more outgoing one and then Tess became more shy but but it's it's full circle now because uh -huh. you know 
You know, in an interview with us, Michael, uh, while when we had spoken to Tessa, well, this is directed to you, mommy. Uh, she she mm-hmm. said she said that um, you know for 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 you, for mom and dad, um, mu- music is all you guys knew that she wanted to do. So yeah. you were very very supportive from day one, uh, and oh, and yeah. because. Is, is it because both yourselves are musicians why it was so easy to support Bob? Yes, I think so. I think because we know how we feel when we hear music or we sing or we do music. Mm-hmm. It's the most blissful feeling in the world. Mm-hmm. And that's our passion. Yes. You know? Did you have a specific so therefore, did you have a specific kind of music you wanted her to do? No, sir. <laughs> not the, not the reggae. It's her music, you know, so she mm-hmm. has to choose what she, she has to live with it, you know, not me. <laughs> <laughs> she needs it. to choose what she wants. But all I know is when it was when it comes to college time, mm-hmm. me not sending her going to college because I could see weird music is what the girl wants to do. Oh. And this is why we put them into Cassie Levy from so little. Mm-hmm. So because we say, okay, this is going to be their school and their college. Oh, wow. But one thing for sure, they couldn't, follow the career until they finish high school that was that was the deal okay very good now now let's let's get to you michael boy that, cough. that reaction cough we're gonna call you cough <laughs> you know what that's that, that special if that you. reaction <laughs> yes my brother and the kind of uh, the kind of ripple effect it gave to tessan <laughs> boy i tell you we you, you get them we get them straight man you are so happy michael let me tell you something when you uh, as mom mentioned earlier Mm-hmm. What you guys saw was on camera, and you saw what happened each week. But a lot of what you didn't see was what happened behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. you know, I would be, well, let's put it this way. First and foremost, the, the calls were far and few because they work those guys' finger to the bone. I mean, Tess mm-hmm. got up 5 in the morning, and she was working in rehearsals and um, doing interviews and doing, doing um, you know, clothing and all that kind of stuff, makeup. Uh, choreography, everything till sometimes 10, 11 at night. There was one time even close to the finale where she actually did a 24-hour stint. Oh, you know, wow. And she just broke down and cried. And thank God Tammy was there with her at that time to just kind of, you know, hold her and say, look, the final stretch, mm-hmm. you know, this is what you worked hard for, so just, just hang in there. But it was tough, tough, tough. And I mean, it was tough for me as a husband because I want my wife to have all this, you know, mm-hmm. but yes. you want to protect her. So you, you mm-hmm. don't have to say, look, babe, just, just, you know, take a break or whatever. But you can't because she has to push to make this thing perfection. Yes. So, you know, I think at that point in time, just with all yeah. that added to the fact that, you know, you have all the, the different um, things going through your mind. You know, she's good, but what, what would the Americans think of her? And, you know, yes, mm-hmm. but they have, they've had two 16-year-olds before. All that just kind of right. bottled up in me. And when they said her name, it was just like... I don't know, man. It was like the heavens opened up right there, and everything yes. you've just prayed for and hoped for just came yeah. out. And all yeah, that yeah, hard work, time. eh? All, all that, that hard yeah. work, everything just just came out, and it came out on me, and I fell on top of mommy. <laughs> <laughs> and and of course that that moment, that moment, Michael, of course, would have been the 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 pinnacle of it all. But That's right. was there was there ever a moment? Uh, remind our listeners about something behind the scenes or so that you 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 had to embrace the son about you had to comfort her you had to give her some some husband advice to, to keep to keep on keeping on you know every time Tess would because she did she had her moments when she was like boy this tough for her. she can't bother and everything you know and um I would just say to her as, as I think we all do say Tess this is what you worked for this is this is what you wanted so you can't get to this point and not push a little harder you know mm-hmm. and as soon as I said that you see her go you're right, and she get up and go. Oh. Even after um after the competition, when it was over, they, they had an after party for them. And I mean, Tess has been going, like I said, she nonstop for the mm-hmm. finals. Mm-hmm. And she was finished the competition. You could see she was tired. And I remember we were in the limo, and she just put her head on my shoulder. She said, "I can't do this. I'm tired, man. I'm tired." And I said, "Baby, Aww. this is what you worked for. So you have to do this." And she said to me, <sighs> "You're right." And she got up again, <laughs> and she just kept going, you know. And she went all night. She was up the next morning at, at five to fly out for her her interviews. It's just, you have to be that support when whenever the person is weak. And I, I'll also mention this, it's vice versa for me. Whenever I'm feeling weak, whenever I'm feeling much up and can't bother, she does the same thing for me. She goes, come on, you know? Mm-hmm. And so on. Yeah, so, I remember so her saying that in the interview with us. It, it, by the way, she's still tired. Is she sleeping? She's mm-hmm. fast asleep. Oh, right dear now. Lord. Was, she, mm-hmm. she, no, she, don't wake her up. Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> mommy, mommy, you're overseas. But Michael, she told Dervan that when she come home, she want oxtail, rice and peas and some lemonade with some brown sugar. <laughs> I hope. And they did give her that. No, but my, she my, deserve, Michael, she deserved everything she asked for now, you know. I know, I know. She's going to be spoiled for the next couple of days. You're so better. You're yeah, better. Yeah. And that Actually, oxtail. 
Mm-hmm. I went out on a big shopping yesterday. I, I actually called them and I said, well, she had her ass you know, but coffee. She wants a red pea soup with some pigtail. With pigtail, that's <laughs> right, that's right. So, and it was waiting for her it at was home. waiting for her at home. So she, she, we, we came in late last night and she never wanted to make herself, you know, sick. So she said, this morning, mm-hmm. breakfast, we're having a red pea soup. <laughs> right. There you go. You know what, guys? We're going to take a break and we have yeah. so much more to speak with you on it has been a really good discussion so far. Let's take that break and come back with Michael Cuff Jr. Hey, call him Cuff. And, uh, Te- and Christine Weston, Tessan's mom. What a panel. I'm going to play just a portion of, of a, in part of the interview we did with Tessan when she was on with us on Young Power in September. And her reaction to Jesse's question um, about the support and how she started out in music. Let's listen. You spoke of what you have been through. Um, we may know the story, but our other listeners may not know the story. We want to know what you've been through. So take us back now to your early beginnings in music and what you actually have been through. Right. Well, I was born into music because both parents are musicians, you know, and um. I was either at rehearsals or on a lounge chair at some gig falling asleep <laughs> or, you know, just always constantly around music. So I really believe it's something that chooses you. Like you don't necessarily choose it. It's just in your your spirit to do so. And um, I've been singing all my life. I went to I have a very heavy theater background with this people and Team Paris Club and that instilled a wonderful kind of work, work ethic and discipline within us and um shortly after that we went to england um and i was about 12 11 or 12 and i was exposed to different things different types of music different culture and um i came home and i knew that when i came home i wanted to sing but i wanted to do it in my way i didn't want to be the typical you know singer i wanted to mix stuff i wanted to fuse stuff Mm -hmm. (laughs) even at the, the 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 warning and the caution of everybody else to just keep it simple and keep it reggae, you know, but that was never me. So after that, I mean, I started touring with Sir Jimmy Cliff, and that was my version of university and college. I joined up with <laughs> a rock band <laughs> called Val High in Jamaica, and um, after that, I, I decided to go on my own once again, and I released a song called Hideaway. Yes, I was getting to that. That all right, let's not get into that, but let's get reactions <laughs> to that from, from our guests online now, Michael Cove Jr. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and and Christine, mm-hmm. Christine Weston. Thanks so much for staying with us. Did you hear that? What? Uh, that part of the interview we played with Tassan. No, we were on silence and having a very private conversation about Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay. Oh, oh, all right. Well, well, Tisad, Tisad was talking about her journey um, from beginning, talking about you know, of course, music being her life and um, growing up in studios on some lounge chair and yeah, you know, in rehearsals, mm, kind of sleeping so somewhere. I mean, all of that is true, right, Mama Christine? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. When we used to go, Richard and I. You know, we're always in a band, so mm. my dad and I. So when we used to go and play, play out, sometimes we take, take the girls with us, yes. Take the girls with us, and um, mm-hmm. they would be fast asleep because sometimes it went late into the night. You know. Do Do you think that I mean, your your you and Richard, of course, as you said, you were in a band, and um, the the success that Tessan has had no especially no being the winner of the voice i mean her her career has gone to a whole other level whole what other are another level oh yeah. there you go there you go <laughs> but I, I want to understand something now i mean you have been through the rigors of of the profession of the career or, or of music essentially some of those lessons that you have learned throughout your career what are some of the lessons that you have imparted on tessan well, the, the 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 only I don't know if I did learn anything, you know, because we were never <laughs> ever at at Tessan stage. It was no, no, of course not. Pure yeah. fun. Mm-hmm. Ours was just pure fun, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I did learn is to enjoy it. So I I, I tell Tess, you know, Tess, just enjoy it because this is your life, this is your passion, and you know, and always just be yourself. People don't want to see fake people. Mm-hmm. Not at all. You know, uh, if we can go to the movies to see that. <laughs> so, you know, if, if you want to touch people, I love her. If you want to touch people, 
the way you say I want to touch them with your voice, you've got to be yourself. Because it's I, not your voice alone, it's your whole demeanor, everything. It's the whole you. And Let me especially Jamaican people. Especially yeah. Jamaican don't people. We don't want to fake people around here. Don't we don't want to ex- our people, our people just go fire. I want to her. Oh, what she, oh, she thinks she be. <laughs> That's true. I, exactly. <laughs> Let me share some exactly. comments. Let me share some comments coming in on Twitter for both yourself and and Cuff. Um, Cuff, this one is for you. It says, "How do you feel now that you will see less of her?" It's you know, before we actually got together, um, it was something that I obviously had to think about deeply because you know you're dating. I knew she was going to be big. I knew that one day she was going to be explosive and. You know, I had to make up my mind way before that that, you know, this is what the lifestyle I wanted to enter into. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say, I don't use the word lucky to say I've been lucky so far. I mean, it's been a struggle. But I haven't experienced the level of success that she's achieved so far just yet. But I'm open to embracing the life that's ahead because I love her deeply. I really, really care about her. And, you know, it's when you, when you have somebody like her in your life, then you don't... You know, you're willing to face any challenge. And what I have to give her kudos for is she's never once made me feel inferior, made me feel different. She tries her best all the time to include me. So, you know, I just know that it's going to take some work, obviously, and, you know, a lot of God, a lot of praying, a lot of, of that kind of stuff. But I'm, I'm open to just embracing what's, what's ahead. Very good. Christopher Wright on Twitter is also asking, well, he, he's not asking. He says, I love to see when a man supports his wife to the fullest and you have done so with distinction. Hats off to you, Michael. And Thanks, then, <laughs> yes, Kevin George Rowe is saying, uh, well, he's tuned in to us, and he's saying the Saturday Gleaner front page pick is a good look for Jamaica. Enough ratings. Have you seen that, yeah, Michael? Yeah, that's right. I was about to say it, you know. What a, what a big piece of kiss planted on you, Michael, <laughs> by <laughs> the sun last night. And you know what's, what's been tough for her, too, is she's not a very publicly affectionate person. But yes. It goes to show you that when, when emotions take you, you can't help it. So it doesn't... <laughs> He just planned a kiss, but <laughs> yeah, it's a good pick. I, I hope you guys frame it, man. It's a wonderful picture, right? Well, we we got two very nice pictures yesterday. Yes. She did from um from the, the gleaner, of both the observer and the gleaner yes. as, mm-hmm. as as prices coming down. So I know all the different pictures she gets in our walls. I'm going full. She have a life size one from Digicel to us. A lot. Yes, <laughs> exactly. I saw that, and and we want to let you know that we're gonna package this interview to give to Tessa as a Christmas gift. In addition to the interview Aww. we did with her, part two, uh, well, uh, right after uh, oh, the audition. So, so this is gonna be a package for her. So. Final comments from both you two, uh, just expressing to Tassan how you really feel about her today, Saturday, December 21. Michael, go ahead. Who's going first? Michael. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> well, I don't think, I don't think, I think Jamaica knows exactly how I feel about Tess and the world does. Um, I will say to her personally that, I mean, she knows I love her dearly and I've been there since since the very first steps. We've we've gone mm-hmm. through all the struggles, even the ones that people haven't seen. You know, right. I've, I've I've held her hand. She's held my hand, you know. And, and you know, what, let me not talk about what I've done for her, but let me mention what she's done for me. You know, she's been my rock. I mean, I met Tess when I was at a very very low in my life. You know, I wasn't even working. All kinds of different things. Mom has seen the struggles I've gone through, and there's yeah. never been a point in time where that girl has not been my rock. Even if it has cooked some food. And say, come man, come Mike, let's let's let's, let's talk about mm-hmm. this, or you know, or mm-hmm. even just kick me, because sometimes I, you want to be cuddled as a man, and, and your wife said, no, uh-uh, get up and go do some work, you know. Mm-hmm. She's, <laughs> she's been that person all along, and Mom can attest to that, right, Mom? <laughs> yes, boy, can I attest? She knows not to she knows, too much. <laughs> she knows when to be sweet and and caring and just cuddle me, and she knows when to just give me that swift kick in the rear end and say, get up and go do some work, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And you know, for that, I just want to say to her, thank you for being my rock, my support, you know, my, mm-hmm. my, my love, my everything. And, you know, I, I just, I, I love her so much and I know her future. The sky's the limit at this point in time for her. Oh. And <clears throat> I would love to, and I know I'm going to be a part of that journey. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, f- you from, know, from you, <laughs> did she wake up? She just wake up. Yeah. Tell, her, tell her, tell her we say good morning. Let, let her say good morning to Jamaica. Hi, Tessie, we see. Hi to mom and young Jamaica, please. <laughs> Hello, Hello Tessan. Hi, Hi Tessan. You <coughs> Tessan, you're live on air and you're saying hello oh, to mommy at oh. the same time. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Hello, Tessan. What a lovely way to wake up. What a lovely way to wake up. Hello, Tessan. Good to see you get home, sweetheart, and just ready. I know. I wish I was there with you. I wish you were too, mommy. How are you? You got home safe? Sorry, we're having a full-on conversation on air. I understand. I understand. I think Jamaica will understand. Yes. I miss you, mommy. Yeah, we don't see each other as much as we we can. So, so I just wanted to say, Tessie. From the first day that you were born, you just stole my heart. And you continue to do that, you and your brothers and sisters. And I just want to tell you how much I am so proud of you, but I'm also proud of the way you represented our beautiful paradise. And I'm so proud of all our people for jumping in and helping and just holding you up in their prayers, their texts, their votes, whatever. I felt that all the time, and I'm so proud of our little island and of being Thank Jamaican you. at this moment. I Thank love you, you, darling. I love you. And just mommy. continue to be yourself and give people yourself. You're a gift. Okay? Thank you, Mom. Thank you very much. Wow. 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 And I need somebody red pea soap for me. Lord Jesus. <laughs> you you need my, mommy, I'm ready to deal with it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hand you back over to the to, to cup No, no problem. problem. Tessa, let us, let us just say congratulations to you That's officially, right. you know, mm. on Young Power 106. Since we spoke to you right after that audition, we've told our listeners that we'll be doing tracking to San and that right. we've been doing every Saturday on the show and our listeners have responded very well to you well the entire Jamaica Aww. have responded very well to you congratulations right. you deserve this more than anything else in this world and I know you're going to be big you deserve it can Why I do say something yes. sure I just want to tell everybody and tell everybody thank you so much for all their love and support I felt it all mm -hmm. the way from over in Jamaica and I want young people especially to know that they can do anything if I can do yeah. it, you can do it. Because trust yeah. me, God them said God is no respect of person. No that respect. Mean, him don't respect person. me more right. than I respect you. That's right. Because, you know, dream big and don't be afraid and what's an amazing mm -hmm. thing we can do and we come together as wow. a people. That's so right. I love you. I, I share this award with you because it's as much your yeah. name as mine. And just thank yeah. you so much. All thank, right, you. thank you too, Tessan, for Bye. what you've done for Jamaica. Oh, thank you. I can't go drink because coffee now. Good, no good. problem. I, I tell Michael <laughs> to make well. sure you get your oxtail and your rice and peas. Make, I tell Aww. Michael to make sure you get everything you deserve. Oxtail, rice and peas, lemonade with little sugar, your red pea soup, all of it. <laughs> lemonade, praise God. All right. All right. Bye-bye, right. Tess. Bye-bye, Tess. Bye-bye. Love you, love you. Hang on. All right. All right. Uh, uh, no, I, can, I, can I get something quick before you guys? Yeah, yes, man. man. Yes, man. I saw, I saw on TV where Adam was making her scrambled eggs. I'm about to make my signature pancake. <laughs> And such is. Such is. I'm going to woo her. <laughs> you the man. <laughs> exactly. You the man, Michael. Listen, you Michael, the man. no one knows yeah, her like you, right. do ya, yeah, sir? So, so, so do your thing. Do your <laughs> thing, right. sir. Go right ahead. We thank you guys for joining us this morning on Young Paul. No problem. Thank, thank you, you so much. I'm so great to hear you more. I appreciate this a lot. All yeah, right, man. darling. Thank I love you. So. All right. Talk love you guys. Man. All right. Bye. All right, bye. guys. Thanks. Thank yeah, man, Mikey. Bye. Cool. Uh, All right, Christine. Bye, guys. Whoa. Bye. Oh. Yeah, man. This Take is care. this is this is the best, Jesse. Yeah. I'm having goose pimples and holding back tears. Yeah, I have I have my crutch <sighs> out already. Tessan, we love you. That's all we can say. Thank That's you right. for being a gift to Jamaica. We deserve. We wanted this. Yeah, and nobody's gonna take this away from us for. I think we needed this for for, for a good while yeah. to come. Yeah, for a good we while needed to come. this. Tessa and definitely a bright point for for Jamaica, especially in this year. Wow, what an achievement! You know, what a time we've been having on Young Paul. Way, way past the break. Let's take the break. Let's hear some more. Tessa and here on Young Paul, man, do it. <laughs>